This is Shantae with Just How I Planted. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. You may know me on Instagram as the owner and creator of the Grow Girl Planters. If you don't know me on Instagram, go ahead and follow your girl there. And now I am on this YouTube journey, so I would appreciate if you would subscribe, like, and comment down below that you subscribe so I can greet my new subscribers. So this is part two of my house chores, house plant chores, of my house plant chores video. If you have not seen part one, I will link it in the description and also in the cards if I remember. <laughs> um, anyway, there was so much that had to be done. So in this part, I will be transferring my fiddle leaf fig into LECA and I will also be doing some of my outdoor chores. I have so many plants out um, in the patio in the backyard so i'll be tackling that among a couple of other things so please stay tuned and let's get into this video all right we are heading into my backyard and i have my gazebo here which my husband has pointed out that i have taken over with plants because i don't want my plants directly in the sun so i need to come out here and see we can see that this alocasia here has a bunch of leaves that i need to prune off i don't know if it's overwatered, if it's not getting enough sun i don't know i already know that i'm generally bad with alocasias but i love them so much so i keep getting them i have two um other alocasias over here not doing too badly but anyway so i'm going to rinse i mean i'm going to what is this i'm going to water all of these plants and then spray them with neem oil and then trim uh the yellow leaves off of there this is my fiddle that needs to be transferred into LECA. I always forget to water it. It's not dying, but it's not thriving. And I have another of my fiddles in LECA and it's doing fabulous. So I moved it outside with the intention on transferring it to LECA. But with how big this pot is, I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough LECA to do the transfer. Um, and so that's why I haven't done it just yet. I actually want to combine this fiddle right here and this fiddle and put them in one pot so it will be a fuller looking plant. But I'm just not equipped to do so right now. I need to, I need to write it, I need to be intentional about it and say, look, this is getting done today. I wish I said that, like, I don't know, I don't know. I just need to do it. Anyway, okay, so let's get to watering some of these things. Let me check on this. This Birkin has a yellowing leaf. I think I want to transfer this into Leca as well. Um, yeah, I need to do that. And this needs water, definitely. This lipstick plant I am struggling with. I've been struggling with it ever since I got it. I don't really know what to do with it, but let's let's just start with watering the plants out here and go from there. to pruning some of these dead leaves off of this alocasia.
spider mites at one point in time. I'm not seeing any right now. But I don't know, this seems like an excessive amount of good leaves. Like I know allocations usually go one leaf in, one leaf out, and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like ten plants in this one pot. So I don't know. Does that seem excessive to y'all? I don't know, I need to, let's see. It could use a good drink. It is definitely thirsty, so I do need to, I should put a watering spike out here as well in this plant. All right, well this is taken care of. I just need to water it and spray it with neem and then it's good to go. More leaves are just falling off of this thing. I need to take care of it. I need to do something about it immediately. Bird of Paradise here, and it is thirsty. It's in Lekka, and this is a very thirsty plant. Do y'all like recycle your water? <laughs> I try to scoop up excess water if I can. Like, do you ever think about how many gallons of water, like I have, I don't know how many plants I have. I know it's a lot. And just so far today, watering my plants, I've already gone through like six gallons of water. And that's why I try to take advantage when it rains. I try to scoop up rainwater. So yeah, I need to get the leaves off of here as well. I need to water that one. I brought my distilled water out, distilled water, because my prayer plants and my begonias only like distilled water, so. They have to have special treatment, so I had to bring it out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to water this on camera. Okay, let's see. Oh, you have water, and let's go on the other side. Other side of my gazebo, I have, ooh, you guys are in bad shape. I have this, um, what are you? It's a prayer plant, I forgot what it's called. Um, but I need to water that one, this mosaica is not looking too bad and then this trio star so all three all four this one too likes um distilled water and then i have this i just learned the name of this um yucatan princess or something like that it's putting out a new leaf yeah so and then I have this palm. I bought this palm, it was super full and it was dying. And so I put it outside so it could die in peace. And it's not dying, but it's not growing. But oh look, so here's a new leaf coming out. All the other leaves have come out like super crispy. Like this was a new leaf and this is just how it came out. So I'm like, am I not watering it enough? It gets lots of rainwater. It's getting all the humidity it could possibly want in Maryland. It's like super humid out here. Um, so I don't know what to do about this Chinese fan palm. If you guys have any um, helpful hints, please drop them in the comments. But uh, let me go ahead and water these plants with this distilled water. All right, quick question. So I'm spraying my prayer plants and I know they don't like chemicals in the water. Now this, the neem oil spray that I'm using, I use regular water out of the refrigerator. Do you think we need to go as far as to use filtered or distilled water when um, mixing our neem oil spray? Or do you think maybe they're not that picky? I don't know, I haven't really, experimented it experimented with it but you guys let me know what you do when you are treating your um your your prayer plants with 
water from the sink. I don't know for for their leaves. Also, I just ordered some self there's some self watering um, pots from Amazon because I'm about to go back out of town, and I was like, you know what? I should go ahead and transfer my prayer plants into self watering pots. That way, they don't look like this. You know, well, this one is looking pretty good, but the rest of them not so much so yes i can't wait for those to come in um they should be here today and that is also something else that's on my to-do list as well with any leka transition you want to first remove all the soil off and with this fiddle it was a super lengthy process so it took quite some time um i first just shook off as much as possible and then resorted to spraying it with the hose the next day and just wanted to show you my progress. It took forever, probably a good 35, 45 minutes of um, hosing down the roots. I had to take a break because the, it was so much soil and bark. Actually, it was like probably like 85% bark on this plant. And so it was on there. And because I was not watering it properly, it was hard and caked up. Um, so I took a break, I let it soak in water overnight and I came back this morning and I uh, finished hosing it down. There's still some bark and soil on there, but I believe it will be okay. So at least I have, this is the hardest part of the process, which is taking the soil off. So now I'm going to replant it. So because of how long it took to rinse the soil out of the big fiddle, I have completely lost my motivation to combine it with the fiddle that I showed you in my living room yesterday that I wanted to uh, pair it with. And so I'm just going to combine it with this one because it's already in LECA so I don't have to rinse off any soil. It's not as full. Um, so I basically just wanted to use the fullness from one to like cover up the lack of fullness from the other and excuse my backyard it's like a hot mess back here so we're about to move on to that next step I'm pretty certain I don't have enough LECA but I just at least wanted to start the process so I could stop procrastinating because it's been like a month since I said I was going to do it so let's move on So that does not look too shabby. It actually looks pretty good. So I combine the two together and looking from this side, it looks like a big, healthy, full fiddle leaf fig. I don't even want to tell you what I went through to get this thing in the house. It's water everywhere. It's so tall and so heavy. It was hard to get through the screen door um, and I could not film it, but I do have it 
in this um, basket that I got from Home Goods, and the water reservoir is down there. So I'm just going to give it some nutrient water and I'm going to put it where it's supposed to be. And that is the biggest task on my to do list. Yes, big man, what's up? <laughs> and uh, we'll check that off. So, whew, man, that was a doozy. Okay, I have my four year old filming, so if you can't see me, that's because my camera person is this. Okay, so I now am going to try to position this. It used to be in this corner. And so, the only thing about, I want all my plants to be like directly in the, in the window and get all the sunlight, but then it's hard to close the curtains. Well, if I block it with plants, maybe I don't need to close the curtain. Can you see me, Mama? Mm-hmm. All right, so. It's my one, Mama. I just got this new grow light from House Bright. I'll link it in the description. It is the bomb.com. Like, the brightness of it is crazy. So I'm super excited about that. So I have it, like, high up. That way it cascades down, the light cascades down on the plants. And uh, I have it on a timer, so I don't need to worry about reaching back and getting to it and uh yeah I, just, I probably won't know until nighttime to see like how much surface area that looks pretty good it looks like a jungle it looks like a jungle and then with me putting this other fiddle leaf big here it makes the plant look that much more grand and massive you did great all right and so this is what we are looking at and i'm loving it Sorry for my pajamas. I tried to get up as early as possible to film this because it was getting hot outside and I did not have the energy to get dressed. But yes, I am loving the setup. Okay, so another thing I've been meaning to do is to switch out my catchy trap, which I was told about this from another YouTuber. And look at that, it is disgusting. So this is like one of the best things that I have found for fungus gnats so far. I use neem oil, I use mosquito bits, I've tried cinnamon, I've tried hydrogen peroxide, but nothing helps like this catchy. And I have three of these throughout my house. And so it just comes with little sticky pads and you just switch that out. And at night you, um, Either put it on the standard setting or the low setting, and then the light just attracts the gnats. And so I just have been meaning to switch them out, but this is probably this has probably been in here for about a month, and it is absolutely disgusting. But I'm glad to know that it's working. And uh, so yes, another thing checked off the list. Okay, so the next thing I want to take care of is this. Leaning tower of cactus, like, I don't, I don't, I have no idea. This is the main thing. So last year when I propagated it, I bought this piece from somebody, I think. And then this little tiny skinny piece grew. And because it couldn't support the next piece, I had to put it on this spike. So I'm going to break each piece up and replant it in here. Now, when you are propagating a cactus, you want to let the um the cut harden so i'm going to just propagate it or i'm going to uh disconnect it disassemble it today and then i'm going to let it callous overnight and then i will replant it oh and see look it's another little piece coming in is that a mealy bug those look like mealies up there yep so i'm going to treat that and i think her name is heather for you, Heather. I think she told me to just go ahead and put some alcohol in a spray bottle instead of trying to fight with, uh, not fight, but use a cotton ball, a Q-tip, you know, use a Q-tip method. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray that down as well. And this is what we were talking about earlier about me not preparing or treating my cactuses for pests. Um, which I should apparently start doing. Okay, is my, is that up there? Okay. All right, great. So I have these all-purpose gloves. 
I use them for painting and repotting and all that things. I can't find my other gloves, so that'll just be what we are working with. Okay, let's see. All right, so I have this up here on a pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna remove that. And I'm going to, let's see how easy, ooh. All right. All right, so that's the first piece is down. And yes, there's definitely mealy bugs. Mealy bugs. Okay, so let's throw this away. All right, so you see there's mealy bugs here. Ooh, it's looking pretty bad. All right, I'm just going to spray that really good. Please forgive me, I don't know what happened. I recorded this footage and I must have deleted it somehow. Um, so I did go ahead and propagate each piece the next day um so you can see right here this is where it starts to callus but of course underneath this is the main piece so these pieces have all calloused and then i just stuck them straight in the soil and lightly water them which is going to send a signal to make roots and they usually take i guess a couple weeks i don't know once i usually put them in there i don't really take them out so I just assume it takes a couple weeks and you can always tell when it has rooted because it starts producing a new growth or a new growth point from somewhere on the cactus and as far as the mealy bugs I just have my handy bottle of alcohol and I've just been spraying it like every day because I come and I still see uh, little remnants on it and that's pretty much all I've been doing Alrighty, so I still didn't get everything done. It's still a couple things that I want to do, but still have to be saved for another day because that was a lot, okay? That was a lot. I love being a plant parent, but let's not front like it's not a lot of work if you have a whole bunch of plants. Anyway, I appreciate you sticking to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, happy planting.